are live here inside Holloway Gymnasium in West Lafayette, Indiana. We have number 24th ranked Purdue Boilermakers taking on the 8th ranked Michigan Wolverines. My name is Matthew Julian. I'm joined here by Hunter Massengill. And right out of the bat at 125, Drew Matten of Michigan with the... Almost had the takedown, but no points were awarded. The referees having some serious trouble. So he's going to get the two-point takedown to Matten, as we expect, and then the one-point escape for Luke Welch. Matten, Matten coming in as a heck of a wrestler, number nine, ranked 125-pounder in the country. Only as a true freshman comes in to Michigan as a three-time Ohio State champion at three different weight classes, nonetheless, at 126, 120, and 106. So quite the talent coming in at the 125 spot for Michigan, facing off against <clears throat> what may be Purdue's best wrestler in Luke Welch. He's probably Matten. the most experienced anyways. Matten trying to get Welch on his back. So back-to-back -back takedowns for Matten with a Luke Welch escape in the middle. Gives it to four to one in favor of Matten. Luke Welch, this is the second match of the day. If you missed it, Purdue beat Princeton earlier in the morning. Welch won that one in a decision seven to one. This is the first time Michigan is wrestling today as Welch tries to get out. But Matten takes him out of play, and it looks like Welch hit his left arm pretty hard against the mat, but he's just going to shake it off and head back to the middle of the mat because that's what wrestlers do. It was definitely a hard hit. He went down much harder than even he anticipated, I think. Look for Welch to try to get some back pressure, break those hands, and get the one point. Take down back to the mat by Matten. Matten is a true freshman at a Delta, Ohio, 12 and five record as Hunter mentioned earlier. So now he's trying to get Welch on his back. Welch a good job to roll over to his side to avoid it. As he gets back to his base, he's gonna try to get up and out here as they're near the out of bounds line. Matten just seems so strong. He doesn't look like it stepping onto the mat, but his ability to use his own strength as they'll call potentially dangerous. Welch's left arm is above that 90 degree mark that the referee's looking for. That's the same arm that was slammed to the mat earlier in the match, so Matten with a little bit of gamesmanship here. As Welch gets back to that base, Matten continues to work on him. It's a tough position to be in. Matten doing a very good job of sinking back and just using Welch's leverage against him. Two point near fall given to Matten to increase his lead to six to one here in the first match of the afternoon session. Matten has not slowed down since the first whistle. And just like that. Two point reversal for Luke Welch, who's able to get out and then quickly turn it into offense to get the reversal. Is now they are outside of the mat. It looks like. Coach Tony Arson is asking, he wanted to know if it was a escape and then a takedown or if it was just the two points for the reversal, which is an interesting question because it was kind of, it was right yeah. in between. I was thinking about that. I was a little concerned with that as well. But I think the referee made the right call. It doesn't, the referee's really looking for separation between those two to be able to call an escape mm -hmm. and the takedown. There really needs to be some kind of separation between the two. Obviously, it wasn't there, only gets the reversal. So after Matten took control of the match all the way up until the end, Welch was able to get some points out of it and cut the lead in half to six to three. Welch will start down here in the second period of our first match of this duel between two ranked opponents and two Opponents who are going to have wrestlers all afternoon match up each against each other of the ranked variety. It should be a very interesting and competitive day of wrestling here in the afternoon. Luke Welch was able to face Jack Medley of Michigan last weekend at Midlands, able to get the 19 to 7 major against him. But this is his first match, I believe, against Drew Matten. Two point reversal for Welch. So back to back reversals for Welch. Gets him back in striking distance, not only down one point in what 
is turning into a very competitive match, and I think we're going to have it from here on out, back and forth we go. Yeah, I mean, to start out the match, it looked like Matten was in complete control, got Luke on his back pretty quick, and it looks like Matten was just going to run away with it, but Luke Welch has decided to kick it into a higher gear and got this back in a little bit of his own favor. Welch was able to surpass his win total of last year with the win earlier this morning against Princeton. Showing growth from each year as he goes as they exit the mat and will return to center here with 37 seconds remaining in the second period. Riding time still in favor of Matten. Currently has 142 racked up as Welch continues to try to get rid of that and looks like we're gonna have maybe a little blood coming from Matten, so they're gonna take a minute to clean that up and make sure everybody's clean and ready to go here. So kind of gives us a chance to catch our breath and kind of look at what we got coming up for you in this duel between these two teams. Hunter, is there like a matchup on here that really kind of jumps out of you, like a wrestler you really want to see? Well, honestly, there's quite a few matchups that look like they're gonna be interesting. That 174 spot with Lighty facing off against Miles Amin, number six versus number 15. And then obviously that heavyweight match matchup between between potentially either Sean Streck or Jacob Avon deciding on what coach wants to do facing off against the number two heavyweight in the country and Adam Kuhn so those I mean this entire lineup this is a great matchup for both of these teams just about every weight class is going to be a good win for whoever takes it so it's an important match for the rest of the season Welch continues to work on Matten Ten seconds remaining here. Welch was getting himself into a decent position there for some back points. Wasn't able to work him over. Kind of was in a good position, as I said, but kind of got uh, Matten was saved by the bell. So they'll restart. In this third period, Matten leading six to five. Impressive escape there from Matten, able right when the whistle blew to explode up to his feet and break the hands. As now they both are battling here, look for Welsh to try to keep a hold of that leg as both wrestlers are trying to get around and get those two points with Matten leading seven to five here. Big moment in the match here in the third period. Referee's probably gonna be looking for a stalemate here, unless one of them is able to break out. Good roll through for Welch as he's trying to get those legs out from around his waist and get back behind. And there it is. What an impressive job there by Luke Welch to stick with it and to keep working back around and getting the two points to tie up this match. And what's very important is that he's cut into that riding time that Matten had built up. So that's going to be taken away from him completely, it looks like, at this point, which is going to end the match tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Stalling warning given to Matten in Michigan as Welch took a peek over at the scoreboard to probably take a look at that score and the riding time just to know where he was at. As he continues to try to work him and Matten without his right arm is having a tough time trying to get free. The Boilermaker faithful around here as we get him on his, on his back. He's getting some back points, bringing the Purdue fans to their feet. That's a huge four points. Yeah, that four points obviously tied seven to seven. Getting those four points, putting them up 11 to seven. Uh, riding time has been completely eliminated, so that's not gonna be a factor. Matten has got to get something going. He's gotta get an escape, gotta get a reversal. He has to be quick here. So 23 seconds left in the match. Matten trying to get a reversal or trying to at least get out. Welch doing a great job breaking him down to the mat. So with three seconds remaining, it's going to be Luke Welch getting the upset win over number nine, Drew Matten. A great start for Purdue and an even, I mean, a fantastic start for Luke Welch to make it happen. A good comeback towards the end after getting down early. He took control of the second and third period and was able to get the win. 